Hello and welcome to this series of instructional videos for the third year analytical chemistry labs. I'm Dr. Robin Studley and this video will be about the instrumental setup for spectrophotometry. We're going to look at two different instruments. The Perkin Elmer Lambda 25 UV Vis double beam spectrophotometer and the single beam Hewitt Packard or HP 8452A diode array spectrophotometer. We'll first look at the various components of the Lambda 25 spectrophotometer. This is what the instrument looks like when the cover is taken off. We'll start off looking at the light source. There are two different light sources present, a deuterium lamp for UV wavelengths and a tungsten halogen lamp for visible wavelengths. When working in the UV range, the mirror is out of position and the UV light goes straight through to the opening. For the visible range, the mirror is in position, resulting in the visible light being reflected out of the opening. The light beam passes through a long pass filter called an order sorting filter and then enters the monochromator through a slit. The filter blocks wavelengths that are a lot shorter than the selected wavelength to preemptively eliminate second order diffraction problems. The light travels towards the grating and strikes it, causing the light to be dispersed into a spectrum of colors. The grating is where a specific wavelength is focused onto the exit slit, thus selecting for a particular wavelength. The grating rotates slightly to select that wavelength. The light beam diffracts off the grating and exits the monochromator through the exit slit. The selected wavelength of light is redirected to a pattern mirror, where half the light is transmitted through and the other half is reflected. If reflected, the light beam travels through the reference cell. On the other hand, if the light beam is transmitted, it travels through the sample cell. Each light beam continues on to a detector. The detector setup in this instrument is a bit unique. It uses two photodiodes instead of the more common and more expensive single photomultiplier tube, or PMT. The reference and sample beams strike different detectors, while a PMT setup would use a chopper and then recombine the beams onto one PMT. In both cases, the signals are digitized and sent through electronics to a computer. Now we'll take a look at the HP 8452A diode array spectrophotometer. A deuterium lamp is the source of light for both UV and visible wavelengths. The output in the UV region is high, whereas there's less intensity in the visible region. Although the deuterium lamp is weak in the visible region, it still works reasonably well and allows the instrument to be simpler and cheaper. The light beam is focused from the source into the sample holder. The sample holder for this instrument can only hold one cuvette, thus we need to measure the reference solution before measuring the sample solution. The light travels through the cuvette and into a small opening on the other side. Notice that the monochromator comes after the sample holder rather than before it, like in the previous instrument. This means that the sample is illuminated with white light rather than a narrow bandwidth. The light enters the monochromator through a small lens and then hits a concave holographic grating. The concave holographic grating disperses the light beam into a strip of its component wavelengths and focuses each individual wavelength onto a different area of the detector. The detector in this instrument is a diode array. The diode array is about one centimeter long with 1024 individual detectors. The different wavelengths of light simultaneously strike different parts of the array. The signal is then digitized and sent through electronics to the computer. I hope this video has been useful for you. If you have any questions, please ask myself or your TA. Thanks for watching.